Hello everyone, my name is Robert Harrell and uh, I want to talk a little bit with you tonight about forgiveness. It's something that's near and dear to my heart because at one time I was very unforgiving of people because I had been done wrong and I felt that I didn't need to forgive people. I was just angry and I would lash out. And people never understood why I did that. But I had a history of being abused. And nobody ever understood it because I never told it to them. But eventually, I got help. Because I had a very serious anger problem. And most guys from the hood where I came from, the neighborhood where I came from, they had anger issues. Most of the young black guys, they had, uh, they had anger problems. Because there's no father there to guide us. And, and most of our mothers were absentee. So we go with an attitude. And a lot of us people didn't understand why we were so angry and upset. But there's a history and there was a reason for us being angry and upset. But anyway, things got out of control with me because I was angry all the time. And like I said, you know, nobody understood why I was angry. Why did I always blow up? But I kept to myself. I was distrusting the people. And uh, it really caused me a lot of problems over the years. But thanks to God and him using my wife, it turned out to be um, a better situation for me because one day I just said to myself, I said, what am I angry for? I couldn't, I, I didn't understand why I kept being angry. So I said, God, I got to get rid of this out of my life. I need my heart and my mind connected together so I can function like I should. And so when I made that move and acknowledged that I had had trouble in my life, and gave it to God, things started changing. And I want to tell y'all a story, a quick story about my history of anger. My mother abused me right up until I got out of high school. I was emotionally, I was physically abused. And uh, I was called everything but a child of God coming up. And here I'm, you know, a young man, you know, hearing all that stuff and don't have a father around. It was tough. It wasn't easy. So anybody's out there that's out there listening to me, that's harboring unforgiveness. Let go and let God. Acknowledge your anger or whatever unforgiveness you're harboring and give it to God and he will change your heart and your mind. If you're really serious about it, he'll change your heart and your mind.
and he changed my frown. He changed my frown. God changed my frown into a smile. Well, I'm able to smile today a lot more and enjoy my life a lot more. And I get praise to God for what he did. Because he's truly an awesome God. But keep your head up high. Hold your head up high. And keep confessing every time you feel oppressed. And say, God is my help. Because he is your help. And you don't want to go through life angry and bitter. Because all it does is destroy you. Don't destroy anybody else. It destroys you. It can't make you. It can't make you say some really nasty things to people if you don't get it under wraps. But there's nothing too hard for God. Nothing. Just remember that. Remember John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And check this out. God sent not a sinner to the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So he didn't send him here to condemn us. He sent his son so we could have forgiveness of sins. So you're not lost. You're not condemned. But if you give all your unforgiveness to God and you confess it and get it out of your life and put it in the ground, put all that stuff in the ground, in the casket where it belongs, you will free yourself. <laughs>